solving equations with fractions. Let's get rid of them. Example one, we're going to be solving for w and we have all fractions. And so typically my students do not like fractions. And so I want to show you how to solve this equation by getting rid of the fractions. And in order to do that, we need to determine what the least common multiple is between the numbers in the denominator. So we have 10 and five in the denominator. So the LCM between 10 and five is going to be 10. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply every single number in my equation by 10. And then when I do that, it's going to simplify to be 3w minus 6 equals 1w plus 7. When I get to this point and when I'm solving equations, I like to always start by moving a variable. And I like to start with my smaller variable. So I have a 1w, that would be the smaller one, and it's a positive. So in order to move it to the other side, I'm going to subtract it on both sides. And then my 1w on my right is going to cancel out. And then I'm going to simplify 3w minus 1w, and that's going to give me 2w minus 6 equals 7. And now from there, I got to move my minus 6, and so I'm going to add 6 on both sides. And then my 6 on my left is going to cancel out. And then I'm left with 2w equals 13, because 7 plus 6 is 13. And then now, since the 2 and the w are attached by multiplication, to undo multiplication, I'm going to divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And then that will be my final answer, w equals 13 over 2, because I can't simplify that any further. Example 2, again, in order to get rid of my fractions, I need to find the least common multiple between 4, 3, and 6, the denominators. And so the LCM between with 4, 3, and 6 is going to be 24. And so I'm going to multiply every single number in my equation by 24. And when I do that, it's going to simplify to be 66w minus 66 equals negative 32w plus 68. And when I get to this step, I like to move my variable first and my smaller variable. So here my smaller variable is going to be negative 32w. And so it's a negative. I'm going to have to add 32w to both sides of my equation. What you do to one side of the equation, you must do the other. The 32w on the right is going to go away, and I'm going to simplify that down. I'm going to add 66w and 32w. That's going to give me 98w, and then I have minus 66 equals 68. I got to move the minus 66 by adding it to both sides, and then the 66 is going to cancel, and I'm left with w, 98w equals 134, and then in order to solve this, my 98 and then my w are being multiplied so i'm going to have to divide by 98 on both sides and then i'm going to get a simplified fraction of w equals 67 over 49.